understanding foreground, middle ground, and background is key to most drawings and especially in landscape painting and drawing. So we're going to do an exercise today that explores just that. Foreground, middle ground, and background. You're going to need resource. So when you finish watching this video, I challenge you to go outside, sit on a park bench, and use the trees around you as resource. Perfect. If you're not able to do that and you're stuck inside, no worries. You know, if you can find a branch, this is a very small branch, but it works. It's going to work just perfectly for what I want it to do. And I don't want it to fall down, so I'm, I took a little container of some rocks. You can use sand, anything that will kind of hold that in place so that it will make great resource for me. So hopefully you have your piece of paper in front of you or your sketchbook, whatever is most comfortable for you. And what I want you to do is take your sketchbook and I want you to draw a very light line. Now I don't want that to be dead center. I want that to be above the center line just a little bit, just because. And I'm going to use the pencil by holding it at the eraser and just drag it. Oh yeah. And I'm not sure if you can see that line or not. Uh, if you can't see it, then I've done my job. I've drawn it very, very lightly. Then I'm going to come below that just a little bit. Again, I don't want to divide that in half. That's going to be boring. So I want that to, if I take that and divide it right here and lift that up a little bit, that's about where I want this line to be. And again, I'm going to drag it kind of lightly. And all that's going to do is help me kind of think about the three layers that I'm going to be working with. All right? Next. Hold your pencil at the eraser for this first part of the exercise. I want you to take this first line and we're going to follow the lines that you see. Now I'm going to kind of do this upside down and hope this works. Yeah, maybe it will. <laughs> but I'm going to come through and I want to just drag. I'm dragging those lines as I see them on these branches. And I see some lines there. Are they perfect? No, because I don't have a lot of control holding the pencil the way I am. It's also an exercise in learning about line weight. All right. So now I have my really light tree. This tree right here is basically my background, okay? Now, we're going to kind of stair-step this, and I can, I can draw the tree over here if I want. I can draw the tree over here if I want. Whatever I do, I want to forget that this tree exists. He just, just think about that as being white paper. He just doesn't exist. I'm out of your mind. All right, so I'm going to hold the pencil now in the middle, okay? That means this line is going to be a little bit darker just by the nature of things. And I want you to rotate your visual so that it looks a little different in your view, viewpoint. If you're out at a park, you want to draw a different tree, okay? So now... I'm going to do the same thing, except maybe my lines are a little bit more specific. And I'm just kind of dragging around what I see. And notice it's, go, it's going over the one I drew before. Yeah, yeah. 
I have one that's kind of a middle branch, and he's kind of going to go off the page a little bit. Alright. That represents my middle ground. Now, I want to draw this tree for real. I'm going to rotate it again. And I'm going to come through. And I might actually start with it kind of light, but I'm actually going to go ahead and draw this tree so that I, I shade it. I look for some of the details as I'm drawing it. And you can choke up on it. Use the point here so that you're a little bit more specific with that tree branch. That's fine too. Is this going to be a very realistic tree? Well, I'm drawing it upside down, so probably not. Some of what I'm doing is just by, by feel. Maybe that crosses over a little bit. And when I get done, what I want to do is I want to think about light source and shading. So, again, I'm drawing this backwards, so hopefully this, this works. But the light is hitting from this, oh, there she goes. <laughs> Straight back up, dude. There you go. Anyway, it's hitting from the left-hand side, because I have a window right here. I got some beautiful natural light, and then kind of darker on this side. So if I am looking at it this way, and I'm just going to block it in for just a second, and uh, so that I don't get it backwards for you guys. Yeah. Okay, so that means that my light is going to be on this side, my darker areas are going to be on this side. And it's actually darker, kind of off right there, as opposed to right on the edge, because the light bounces back, right? So I want you to spend a little bit of time and practice your value shading for this tree. And I want you to think about texture, like if there's some little knots in there, so there's a little knot right in there, yeah. And it might get darker and lighter. And after I've done that, you're going to be able to see, you know, foreground, middle ground, and background pretty easily. Great exercise just to play around with that concept so you have a better understanding. <laughs>